between the jaw surgery and the speech therapy and the tongue tie and then the wisdom teeth and SARP and everything. If you think it's confusing, imagine how it feels to be living it. Here, what noise do potatoes make? Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Cassandra and this is where I talk about my life experiences and lessons learned to try and help other people who might be in similar situations. If that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. This video is part, I don't even know anymore, of my adult tongue tie journey and vlogs that I've been posting here. Um, if you have missed any of the previous ones, you can go ahead and watch them first here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an update on my progress post phrenectomy frenuloplasty tongue tie release. It's been about two and a half weeks now since I had the procedure done to release my tongue tie and earlier this week I went back to the surgeon for the first time, asked them for their opinion about how successful or not that the release was and I also went back to my speech therapist for the first time uh, and got her opinions on that as well. So before I get into that and tell you what they said, I will just give you a little bit of an update for me in terms of how I am doing and how things are progressing. Um, so when I went back to the surgeon um, a couple of days ago, there was only one stitch remaining. So they took that out, the rest um, sort of came out on their own and throughout the process of eating. And I've also been massaging um, along the site every day as well to try and help break up the fibres so that it doesn't reattach. I'm obviously doing that very gently and hygienically. Even when I'm talking now, I can definitely still feel tightness in the site where I had the tongue tie released. Um, it does seem to be healing very well, but it's also still actively healing. So it's definitely still not all the way healed. I am eating mostly normally now. I'm still kind of avoiding like hard nuts and carrot, like hard carrots and things like that. And mostly actually because of my wisdom teeth. I had all of them removed about a month and a half ago, but the tongue seems to be able to handle eating much, much better than it could the last time I spoke to you. If you remember, eating was incredibly painful and I was like, feeling like I was going to pass out every time I had a meal. So thankfully it's not like that anymore. I'm brushing normally. I'm not taking any pain medication. As you may expect, the tongue and the mobility, the flexibility does always feel tightest in the morning because I've, you know, haven't spoken <laughs> during the night and stuff like that. So it's not been moving at all. Um, but I'm still doing the exercises that the speech therapy that the speech therapist gave me. I'm still doing um, those exercises for uh, both the flexibility and strength of the tongue multiple times every single day. And I do really think that that's helping to not make things get worse. Immediately after I had the procedure, the flexibility and mobility did feel a lot worse. And I would still say two and a half weeks later, the flexibility and mobility is the same, if not worse, than it was before the procedure. But by doing these exercises multiple times a day, it's definitely helping it to be closer to the side of about the same as it was before. I can tell that it's very important to keep doing them. In regards to when I'll have better flexibility, when I'll sudden, suddenly be able to touch the roof of my mouth with my tongue like other people seem to do, I don't know. So I also talked about last time how I wasn't convinced that the release was completely successful. So I spoke to the surgeon about that. Um, it was actually a different surgeon. It was kind of like a double appointment. I, I went to remove the stitches and have a checkup after this procedure. And then also to have a pre-surgery consultation for the SARP surgery that I'm having in a couple of weeks time. <laughs> so the SARP surgery, is being done by my main surgeon who will be doing my main bigger jaw surgeries, but she's not the one who actually did the um, tongue tie release procedure. I believe she is the one that I saw and the one who's, who's my main surgeon. I believe she's um, one of the most experienced ones. So it was quite good to see her and just get the opinion on like 
was the tongue tie release successful? Was it done fully enough or do you think it should be revised? She took a look and she said that anatomically it definitely looks like it was successful, that it was properly released and she's saying that she has no reason to believe that continuing to go to the speech therapy and doing the exercises, she doesn't believe that the flexibility won't improve. I don't know why I said that in such a negative way. The surgeon believes that the release was anatomically successful and that it doesn't need to be revised or redone and she encourages me to continue with the stretches and the speech therapy because she thinks then that will only improve the flexibility um, and then eventually the flexibility and mobility should be much better. So that's good, that was certainly reassuring to hear. Obviously it's not 100% convincing because I'm still feeling what I'm feeling and experiencing what I'm experiencing but as I say I'm pretty confident that she knows what she's talking about um, and at least then like I do believe that if she thought that there was more currently to do surgically then then she would say so but since she didn't um, then I think um, that's fine. Also um, immediately after the surgery I think I'd mentioned like I had um, like a big lump on the on the kind of floor of my mouth where they'd sewn up and I thought gosh am I just gonna have this big massive lump forever that I could really really feel with the tongue. That is going down now so I'm really relieved about that and um, it's definitely still there and I can feel it but it's yeah it's getting smaller so that's good and I hope that you can hear um, that my speech is back to being clearer again. I pretty much don't have a lisp at all but as I say I'm definitely still feeling tightness and a little bit of restriction so maybe I'm still slurring a little bit. And then when I went back to the speech therapist for the first time, I was supposed to see her before but she was sick so she had to cancel the other planned session that we had so saw her for the first time yesterday and she also thinks that there's been um, a lot of improvements since the last time we saw each other a couple of weeks ago because she was also on holiday um, and that she gave me like I think seven or eight exercises to do and so she said that she does think that things have improved since I've been doing those and then she gave me another one also to do for the flexibility because I'd mentioned to her that you know I really don't feel like that's um, any better if anything's worse and I asked her as well if she's had other patients who have had a, a tongue tie release and how that's been for them and she said, as you would expect, but it's just nice to hear it, that, you know, everyone everyone is different and sometimes her patients after the release, um, they do get quite a bit more flexibility straight away and others, it doesn't really seem to be that different at first, but then when they keep going with the speech therapy and the exercises that it does improve then. So I think I'll just then fall in the latter category. And yeah, once this is all healed up, um, we'll see how things are. I've heard that sometimes as well like a further tie sort of reveals itself after a while, I don't know, um, but I do know that if for any reason they believe that they should do more then I definitely have the option to have it revised because I'm having all these other surgeries anyway so they've told me at least twice now if we need to do something again we can just do it like during one of your other surgeries. So it's all good and when I get this SARP surgery in a couple of weeks, I did a video on that here, they will also cut into the top jaw exactly across where the lip tie is. So the lip tie is still there currently but in a few weeks that will be gone from the other surgery that I have. So maybe then that will also give some improvement. If you remember, the surgeon said that they didn't stitch um, the incision all the way up because the lip tie was so tight and they thought that doing so um, might increase the chances of relapse. So that's really interesting. And yeah, it means I think that there's potential that once the lip tie is also released, then maybe that you know, also helps with releasing the, the tension on the fascial layer and with the flexibility and stuff like that. So yes, as I say then, um, not like the instant amazing improvement, but obviously this is part of a huge journey so I still have a long way to go and that's fine. I'm going to continue with everything that I'm doing. I've been still rinsing with salt water as well to clean the wound and things like that. And uh, yeah more surgery soon. <laughs> a lot of my videos are kind of like 
back and forth, jumping from like thing to thing, like between the jaw surgery and the speech therapy and the tongue tie and then the wisdom teeth and SARP and everything. It is literally, I'm sharing it with you in the order that it happens in. So if you think it's confusing having these videos released, like not in a set, imagine how it feels to be living it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's all from me for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, comment and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.